Hello and welcome to Winchester News Online. I'm Graham Bell and here's your news at five o'clock. Sports teams at Winchester University have been warned to watch their behaviour after a brawl involving football teams from two of the South University left one player unconscious. Matt Lutkin has more. The message was reiterated to students following news that nine players had been arrested and later released on bail following a brawl that broke out in a football match between the University of Reading and the University of Southampton at the weekend. There's uh, a wide range of scale for what we can do. Um, any action like that, sort of, from what has occurred in the last week with those two universities, would immediately um, bring in the SU as a disciplinary panel. One of the university sports captains told us the authorities' message was getting across. And Matt basically was put down on me right at the start from our vice president, Hugh Barnes. Whenever we go away, respect to our facilities at home as well. And if we didn't, then I know that we would get chucked out of the league or fine. The police now have until the end of April to decide whether to charge the individuals involved. I'm Matt Lukin for Winchester News Online. Well, next week sees the new student union president elected. It's an important post involving vital responsibilities. But does anybody know or even care? Lucy Bater reports. Despite the number of posters around campus asking for your vote, a survey that we carried out earlier shows that only 7% of students have voted for their student president so far. Now, when we tried to vote on the website, we found that the system was down, which may have cost those in the running valuable votes with only two days to go. With 5,600 students at the university, on average, only 500 vote each year. We spoke to the current president to find out why he thinks the voting is so low. Kind of a cultural thing to a certain extent where people not so interested in politics anymore, be that student politics, national politics, things like that. People have been a bit disaffected by them. Um, now, do I think that's right? No, because I think personally, if, uh, if, you know, if you don't vote, you really don't have an option to, to moan about anything, about how your student unions run. The campaigners are hard at work trying to get your vote, but do the students even know who is running for president? <laughs> Sorry. It's all what's on that. No? Don't know. Ben Clark, James Pendergast, Jimmy Whale, yeah. and uh, Kyla. We wish all four running for president good luck in their campaigns. Lucy Bater for Winchester News Online. University is helping Africa's healthcare system. Dr. Jane Erica has joined forces with the Kim Tampo project set up to help increase the number of mental health professionals within Ghana. Lucia Walker has this report. In Ghana, they've been training health professionals for over 40 years, but in order to reach the rural areas, they simply need more. Dr. Jane Erica spoke to us about how she got involved in a project which aims to increase the number of qualified psychiatric doctors. In Ghana, they train doctors in the major training hospitals, of which there are only a few. And when they train doctors, they tend to stay in the centres of major population, which leaves the rural areas without health care. Until you actually go there and see what these rural areas are like, and also how difficult the communication is, because the roads are difficult. You can't imagine somebody being able to get to a hospital quickly. Dr. Jane Erica has returned from Ghana today and is wearing the traditional dress of Kintampo College to further promote the project to upgrade the college to a university. With only four psychiatric doctors in the public sector in Ghana at the moment, the Kintampo project is a step in the right direction. This is Lucia Walker for Winchester News Online. Tuition fees may be increasing, but a university think tank today announced that unemployed people could soon go to university for free. Our reporter Keely Batchelor joins me in the studio here. Keely, what's this all about? The policy has been proposed by an organisation called Million Plus. It's called Enrol for Free and will mean those who are claiming the job seekers allowance will be allowed to enrol on part-time undergraduate courses. So what's, what's prompted this move then? Basically, it's come about because of the recession and the amount of unemployed people there are in the UK. Currently, that figure stands at around 2 million. 
the government, with the possibility of an election next year, the government are trying to get people off the live register and back into education. So when is it believed that this project is going to take place? Well, at the moment it is just a proposal and it's something that is being looked into. There does seem to be wide-scale support for this and Lib Dem parliamentary candidate Martin Todd was very positive about the whole initiative and thinks that it is something that could get the economy back into shape. We keep your eyes on this story, Keely. Thank you very much indeed. With Winchester being voted one of the top places to live in the UK, appearance is everything. And the local project has revealed its expenses to clear gum off the streets. Chloe Stewart investigates. A five-year scheme set up to improve the look of Winchester city centre has spent £62,000 on chewing gum removal in the past 12 months. Kevin Wilson, manager of the project, explains why the scheme has been implemented. Mm. Encourage people to think about what they're doing, and that's why we've released all the information about the cost that it actually um, uh, generates to, to remove the litter. Um, and also, we're going to uh, hopefully uh, roll out a poster campaign encouraging people to put their um, chewing gum in the bin. Winchester City Council have praised the project. It's been very successful. They've had about um, 50, the half a million uh, pieces of uh, chewing gum removed from the streets of the city which in itself is fantastic. This year, they're improving the cost by putting it up to 67,000. Uh, again, very worthy cause. What we did, we removed the chewing gum. Um, we did a round of chewing gum removal early on uh, last April, and we found out that once you remove the chewing gum, you leave a clean patch. Uh, so once you removed any subsequent chewing gum, we did some deep clean, some superheated uh, steam cleaners to wash all the pavements down back to there. Natural luster, I guess. Some news agents in Winchester selling the sticky problem think it's the buyer's responsibility. Clean and tidy, but as soon as you get people walking free, don't matter whether they're smoking, drinking, or with chewing gum, it just gets dirty again. Yeah. Don't take long on our way, unfortunately. The scheme is believed to encourage Winchester's tourists and shoppers to visit the city centre and promote better, cleaner, more welcoming streets. Uh, anything that uh, can improve the city's looks and, and beauty, all well and good. Well, it's now time to take a look at the weather and what it's going to do for the rest of this week. And our own Ray of Sunshine is joining me in the studio, Amelia Slaughter. What's, what's going on with the weather? Well, Graham, it was another bright day today. As you can see, the sun was shining across the Hampshire countryside. As always, we love to see your pictures and you can send them to us at the usual web address. On to tonight's weather, we should expect outbreaks of rain over much of England and Wales tonight, continuing eastwards, clearing by morning. Another sunny day for the south tomorrow with a maximum temperature of 10 degrees Celsius, that's 50 degrees in Fahrenheit, but it will be slightly colder due to a strong easterly wind. Unfortunately, this sunny weather is not set to last and scattered showers tomorrow evening will set the tone for the rest of the week. So it's time to get your brolly out, Graham. Disappointing, I was looking forward to a bit of sun on my day off, but I don't think it's going to happen. Thank you anyway, Amelia. Anyway, that's all from us here at Winchester News Online. Don't forget you can tune into our website if you want to find out any more on this evening's stories. Until tomorrow, take care of yourself. Goodbye.